Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in the basement of uh, the TV studio where they film, I guess among other things, In Between with Mr. Door. Let's see. Last time we got a call from another Alan. It didn't seem to be Anne. Other Alan, to use the terminology from the first game. It was just this Alan, at a different point in time. Either a point in the past he couldn't remember, or a point in the future he hadn't experienced yet. And he seemed to suggest that Alan's not going to find a way out of this one. But that he will understand all of it eventually. I don't love that. I mean, it suggests he won't be dead dead after the end of this game, but... I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a happy ending if he ascends to become the god of writing or something, you know? Like, I don't want, you know, the next Remedy game to be Alan serving as the Thomas Zane to uh, Saga Anderson. I don't know. I, for one, refuse to give up hope until it is dragged out of my bloody fingers. But I have no choice to keep moving forward until then. Shout out to Yornick, who uh, comments on the black and white sequence from the theater, saying, This color scheme is a sort of reference to the 1925 silent movie Battleship Potemkin, considered one of the greatest of all time. It's black and white, of course. But the director hand-painted the flag the mutineers raise red in each frame. Nobody did anything like it before, which made the symbolism hit real hard. And then I, what I like about this is Jorn acknowledges the fact that normally his comments are quite a bit sillier than that, because then he goes, And now, back to the nonsense! Trees and plants are free from the evil, but some animals aren't. So naturally, Evelyn, Dancer, and Hugs get to work kicking the villainy out of them, lovely creatures. It involved, among other things, attaching some mirrors to Evie's parasol, and then shining light onto it. So when our proper porcelain lady twirled, light scattered around. It was like a load after load of buckshot for the evil darkness, burning it out of all these rabbits and wolves and birds. These three sure make a great team, huh? <laughs> I can't seem to find anything down here. I think... I think these are dust covers for, like, suit jackets and other st standard forms of clothing. Just stuff you know you're gonna need at some point. We'll just store it in the basement and keep a thing on it so that when we have to use it, like, four years from now, it won't be dusty. I like that. This becomes a set door on the other side. A door that doesn't actually lead anywhere. Except like six more doors, which is kind of funny. Who put all the prop doors in the same spot anyway? Oh, oh, oh! No, it's just empty uh, post its. Okay, fuck it, following the right wall. Who jammed. Re oh, that was not how to recycling van, it just has a recycling logo on it, and it's blue. That's a lot of dumb waiters. I mean, it's a lot of water, too, but, you know, I've commented on that already. I remember you, stupid water cooler. Keep hearing water bubbling noises in other areas where they shouldn't be, and I always turn around to find one of those things. Damn, thought that was a red envelope for a moment. Those are good luck. Oh! Right. 
Well, here's a shoebox full of photos. There's like two in there. Alice's photos. I recognize the style. It's... One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. I need to get them to the plaza. No. No. The glowing hole in Alan's forehead in the opening cutscene. The light in the shape of a bullet. Alice's photographs. Two photographs taken by Alice Wig. I also still have the knife. I'm not moving. Right now I am. But Hi there. What's he doing down here? It's weird to see someone so intangible kicking up water like that. creep along so I don't kick up as much water. Nope! Man. Oh. The, the one who grabbed me then dissolved instead of going hostile. I didn't know the non-hostile ones could do that. More of them around. I guess it's bright enough here. I don't need the flashlight. Stuffed moose sitting in front of the computer. I like that. Physics glitching out. I don't like that. Oh, no, he is reversing. I thought he was going to go in a circle around this thing. Wake. Yeah, fuck that guy. Wake. Hate him. Fuck you guys. It's really yellow down here, man. This isn't where I came in, but nah, fuck it. I probably should just follow the way back out. This is a very small map. Wrong button. Oh. Okay. Mr. Door has said he's not interested in playing along anymore anyway. Oh, hitch. It's two today. Never seen more than one in the same session before. Let there be Televisions! clock there and the glare of its uh of the light against its face uh looked like a a prompt to me for a moment there ah I good the photos now i needed to put them into the shoebox by the statue It's worth, Alan. You came into my life at a time when it seemed like the only things I had in my life were a family that didn't really understand me, and an audience I couldn't see or hear or touch. And in the middle of uh, all that, 
just casually ignored that depression and reminded me how fascinating stories were in and of themselves. So whatever happens at the top of this tower, thank you, Alan Wake. It's closed. Oh. No. The building was condemned. Closed up. Oh, Something I forgot was to wrong. actually put the thing in. Something was missing. I had to get inside. I forgot to put them in the shoebox, my bad. I was being all personal and stuff. And... Oh, look, there's a shoebox there now, along with a bunch of roses and candles, like she's dead. they didn't make me choose. The one of the clicker falling into darkness, or the one of the glowing bullet. Why did I just unlock a TV program? I'm not gonna fucking look at it out here, though. of demolition. Will be demolished on or after today. Huh. Pursuant to permit number Scribble, the building location at New York will be demolished on or after today. Wow. Can I close that? No, I cannot close that. Uh, TV, I guess. Drowning. There it is. The writer's journey. I got an achievement for getting that called, uh, The Trail of the Writer. Watch all of the writer's journey videos. Except, one, I haven't watched this video yet, and two, it says writer's journey 8 out of 9. Well, there goes. Drowning. I'm lost. I'm lost in the dark. Drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. No way out. There's no way out. Sink deeper, deeper, deeper. This is hell. I'm in hell. I died. I wish I was dead. Let me die. I just want to sleep. Please. Let me sleep. I'm so tired. I just want to go home. I've written so much. I write. And I write. There's nothing left. It's all gone. I don't know how to write. All the words are gone. There's no more words. Where's he going? Can I hear the words? I don't recognize these words anywhere. The words moving. This is familiar. Why is this familiar? I, I've been here before. I, have I said this before? I've read this somewhere. Where am I? Who am I? Alan Wake. Wake? That's a strange name, eh? Wake? That sounds like a character's name. I, I, I write that name up? I make that name up? I don't want to be a character. I, I don't want to be in the story. Just write me down. Oh. Stop already. Ram these words down your throat. Made you choke on these words. Oh, I know the words. Secret words. You can't take the words. I eat the words. These are my words. Stop using the words. The words. I can't tell the words. This isn't your story. It never was your story. The story is a monster. The story will eat you alive. The darkness is coming. The darkness inside. This is my story. You're in my story. Get out of my story. You are a character in my story. You can't stop the story. This story will go on forever. There's no escape. You will never escape. You will drown here. You're stuck in a loop. You don't have a clue. You're lost. You lost the plot. I'll show you. I really, really hate that, that last moment there. Where he's just crawling on the floor in the writer's room. You could hear the door to the writer's room opening on the other side behind the camera. Shout out to Justin Jones, who says, uh, Alan is in deep, but
but it makes sense why he might have to stop writing, or at least be a bit more circumspect what he writes down. We see how catastrophic his writing might be with how Saga's life has been completely fucked up, i.e. Logan's death. In that video where Alan is discussing how writing is dangerous, he sounds like he is on the ragged edge of madness. Who could blame him? And now I think he went even further than that. I think Alan Wake went absolutely, totally insane. And then the dark place made him forget. It made him forget that he was crazy. So he thought he was behaving rationally, and because of where he is, that's what rationally is. He is behaving rationally because he believes he's behaving rationally because he can't remember that he's lost his fucking mind. If I'd had any idea of any of this when I beat the first game... I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different. Like my last chance. It wasn't already too late. Let's make sure that's loaded. Trying to find some words to make this feel better, but... I threw this guy into hell for 13 years in order to save the world. And now I'm about to destroy what's left in order to do it again. Sometimes you just don't have the words. Gone. Initiation 9. There's no flash. Nobody lived here anymore. Was I too late? Well, there's the writing room right in front of me. There's a lamp on the floor. Maybe that came with the place. Like a table lamp. The Dark Place, the Art of, Alan w of Alice Wake. It's, a. Uh... Well, he keeps in getting interrupted with pictures of either Alan looking angry or Scratch. Oh, I can't get my gun out. Open the door, or do I go for the picture? It's telling me to get to the writer's room, so. Fuck it, I'm gonna look at the thing over here. It's that that's snarling, the projector. Oh god! screen this time. It won't end. Like a nightmare I can't wake up from. I thought I could contain Ellen in my photos, but... just keeps coming back. The light behind her is flickering. Every night. Like waves hitting the shore. Oh, God. I'm... I'm so tired. He's here all the time now. 
there's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. I have made a decision. Most of you won't understand. She's gonna kill herself. People call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. Alice Wake took her own life shortly after completing her work on The Dark Place. She will be missed, but will live on through her art. What follows are her final photographs. Blurry picture of her. Oh, she's walking to the edge of a cliff. She said it to auto take pictures as she walked to the edge of a cliff. Oh, God. I think that's the lake. Alice was dead. Scratch. Tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits. No! It's the other loop from the other perspective. seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. No! I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. That's why they've been saying Scratch's name. That's why we've been able to hear it. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. Return by Scratched Out. End of initiation. I'm getting old this time. Oh, God. That's why Scratch's name was legible. It wasn't the real Mr. Scratch. He really did die in American Nightmare. Twisted himself up so badly that he turned into a monster. And he can't even remember it. But 
Both of the stories have ended in failure. and which ones were scratches. Finally made it actually loop forever as a joke. No. Now you're falling apart. The light is a poisonous, poisonous dart. Forever seeking out the darkest part. Forever.
song is finally breaking down completely. subtitles anymore. It sounds like they're in the wind. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and with that distressing revelation, I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I have absolutely no idea what's about to happen, but I feel like this story, these stories, are about to come to a head. So take care. Hold on to your butts, and more than ever, stay in the light.